Hey guys, welcome to Girl Power It Up. Coach Danny here, I got my daughter Lily. Today we're gonna show you how to do a squat. Okay, okay. so first thing you wanna do is get those feet hip distance apart, maybe a little bit wider. The wider you go, the easier it is, okay? Bring it in a little bit, just like that. And what you wanna do is sit down during your squat, okay? Just set, this is what a squat looks like. This is all it is, okay? Side view, you're sitting back in a chair. Yep, so just sit back. You want to make sure that those knees are tracking right over your toes and coming right back up. Okay, guys, when you're doing a squat, the muscles that you're using are your quads, big muscle right here on your thigh, your hamstrings, these nice muscles right here, your glutes, your bottom side, <laughs> okay? Those are the main muscles. Your calves down here, they do a little bit of stabilization. So when you're doing a squat, you want to think about those muscles that you're using, okay? You want to push up, squeeze your bottom, use your quads, use your hamstrings, think about the movement when you're doing it. Do a couple nice and slow and actually feel the quads, the hamstrings, the butt working. Feel them all. They all do their part. It's a very strong movement, a squat. One thing we want to talk about is a Bad form versus good form. Okay, so bad form would be, one, you're bringing your knees in when you do a squat, just like that. Bad form, two, is you're bringing your knees out over your feet, like that. The good form is bringing your knees right over your toes, keeping them in line, just like that. Okay, so bad form here will be feet turned out like this, okay? You do a squat. Bad form would be having your toes coming in. Obviously, this is not good, right? You want your feet, your toes pointing forward, okay? A little bit of an angle pointing out is okay. You really want to just aim to have them pointing forward when you're starting out. Just like that. That's good form. The next um, <clears throat> bad form we'll do from a side view. So go ahead and do a squat. I want you to lean forward when you squat. So go ahead. This is bad form. You don't want to be leaning forward like that. Another thing you don't want to do is arching your back too much. So go ahead and arch and do a squat. That's putting too much pressure on your back. Ouch, okay? Keep this all nice and straight, just like that, okay? You want that chest up, chin up, looking straight ahead, good form. So do a checkpoint when you, before you start your, your squat, okay? Chest is up, chin is up, abs are engaged, your toes are pointing forward, feet are hip distance apart. You're gonna go ahead and sit back, just like that. Keep the abs tight the whole time. So some variations of a squat can be a mini squat. So instead of going all the way down just like this, when you're starting out, maybe you just wanna do a little mini squat. Okay, you're just gonna go halfway down, halfway up, okay? And that's just a good little place to begin. Next variation is a wall squat. So go ahead and put your back up against the wall and sit like you're going to sit in a chair. You want to make sure you're keeping your knees hip distance apart here. They want to come in. All right. Go ahead and do that for about 30 seconds if you can. This is a wall squat. A nice variation of a squat is a ball squat. So you're going to go ahead and take an exercise ball and put it between you and the wall. Okay. And make sure your feet are hip distance apart a little bit wider. And go ahead and sit. This is a modif modification of just a regular squat because you're putting a little more weight into that ball. Another variation of the squat is a wide squat or also called a sumo squat. So with this squat, you want your toes to point out just a tiny bit. And you're gonna be focusing more on those muscles right in here on the inner side of your leg and your butt. Okay, so when you sit down, squeeze up just like that. Nice and wide, sit down squeeze up. This Another variation of a squat is a pulse squat. This is one of my favorite things to do while I'm in the middle of a tough leg workout because it just pushes you right over the edge. You can go ahead and go down all the way. You're not going to come up all the way though. You're going to come up and back down. A little pulse. One, two, three, and up. So another variation of a squat is a jump squat. This is a lot tougher than just your regular, regular old squat, okay? It's a very explosive movement. It's plyometric, gonna get your heart rate up. You're gonna touch down on the floor and explode, jump up. Just like that, you, I know you guys have probably seen these at the end of a burpee, right? 
There you go, that's a jump squat, just like that. A way that you can work your calf muscles a little bit more is doing some squats up on your toes. So go ahead and lift your heels up. This is tricky, another one you wanna do slow. It's a movement done in yoga a lot. And just like that, you really wanna focus on making sure your knees are staying in line. Okay, squeeze your calves, abs tight. So our next squat is going to be a walking side squat. Go ahead and get down. You want to stay at the same level. You're not going up and down, okay? Just like this. Okay, you're working those side muscles there. They're pulling in, and then you can come back. Pushing out. Staying everything nice and stable, okay? All right, guys, so that's the squat. There's some variations there. You can try different things. Remember, form is most important. So go ahead, do it nice and slow. Do all the checkpoints, make sure that your form is in check. Guys, so now you can apply the squat to all your other workouts. Great job. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.